The good ride, because pros can ride anything. We can't. You, you come down a little lower. <laughs> you said you wanted to be higher. Right, you got these boots yep. in us. It's pretty close, huh? So here we are looking at the Bruton Ruler Step On Boot. And, um, you know, it's uh, the, the, the lowest Boatec. cost entry, uh, you know, step on, quick entry, quick exit boot. And I got to say, I the first time I rode it, it was pretty, like, there was a lot to digest. It was pretty yeah. special because the response is amazing. Um, but I would say the more I ride this, I first tried it at size 8. It was a little tight. It was a little off. The more I ride this, the more I'm starting to see little flaws, little things that maybe might not make it something that I would personally have or want to have. I think I'd be much happier with the Photon or the Ion, probably the Photon. Um, yeah, because when do you buy the lowest cost boot? Never. But um, I'm a gear whore. Yeah. Gear whores don't do that. No. Gear whores buy expensive things. One thing, the boa is super quick and super easy. I love the speed lace boa. But um, I found that when I rode it at a comfortable uh, tightness for me, um, I found that this folded down too much, even in, when it's attached to the to the binding, and I felt pressure on the top of my foot. Yeah, right in there. They um, need to, I what, think they need to fix Because once I once I finally there. cranked it down to where I was like, oh, I'm getting like the the real response that I want out of that. Yeah, and I, you weren't I, getting the fold. Yeah, then I was really starting to lose all my feeling right up in yeah, here. Yeah, I had to crank it to the point of circulation loss. For yeah, this to and work that's right. that's a that's definitely you know an issue when you're going with the cheap boots and the uh, and I live for upper and lower adjustability. Yeah, upper and lower adjustability, really. Yeah, so that that was a big negative for me. Um, I think for some you might not do it, but I think for both of us, for both Peter and I, with two different size feet, I'm a nine D bordering on E uh, for width, and Peter's a uh, eight and a half. Uh, C bordering on D, C and a half. You're like a C and a half. You're a little narrower foot. And for both of us to go to Just sleep. Just like my grades in school. Yeah. C and a half. <laughs> Not a C plus. Not a C plus. C and a Not half. Not a C minus. He's inventing a new C. Yep. A C and a half. And uh, yeah, and D. If there was an E, because I didn't sometimes quite completely fail, I felt. I was like, where's that E before the F? Yeah, like, uh, like yeah. you knew the stuff, but you didn't show up to class. But your teacher knew that you knew. But you know what I hated about school? They sometimes fucking gave you points for attendance. Watch your language to our gentle listeners. Sorry. So I'd do good on the tests, but I'd still get a much lower grade because I didn't ever show up. I, heard, I hate that about my job, too. <laughs> it's like pizza delivery is not every day. You know? Come yeah. on. Peter's only three weeks a year on the good ride. Yeah. Then he leaves me with the rest of it. But no, I mean, the forward flex is the biggest issue with me and the adjustability here. But I mean, look, when, you're step in, when you step into these, the response is incredible for a ruler uh, on a binding. You know what I mean? Like, it was overpowering boards that it shouldn't overpower. I think it needs to mellow out a little bit. I think the binding that this steps into, I think they should have a ruler binding, too, instead of one binding across the board because that binding's pretty responsive. Um, but you know, there's gonna be a lot of people out there that are gonna love both the price point, they're gonna love um, the step-in technology. They are going to, they're just gonna cut, I mean, I can see it. Like, I this, get it. This wasn't, uh, like, everything wasn't fine-tuned for me, but I get it. I, I get, totally get I it. I totally get where it's going. I'm totally like, wow, step-in technology is, come just as far as strap-on technology uh, and where it got way better in the last few years, you know? And um, he means bindings. Oh yeah, I mean bindings. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. um, That's the, the other good ride. The response. That's the good Peter site. Yeah. Peter.com. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's actual website. <laughs> we better reserve the domain. <laughs> better. <laughs> um, the but, good Peter. But yeah, the, the, like, the, there was just so many things about this that I totally understood what people are going to love. The fact that I like got off my board, 
uh, or I got off the chairlift, I just popped my foot straight into my board, wiggled it around a little, adjusted yeah. just for like a second, made sure both things were clicked in, clicked it in. It takes a little, it takes a little extra. You just, I uh, mean, you just gotta, you gotta be, uh, uh, yeah. double up, uh, uh, and then you're in. Yeah, and then you're in. Yeah, um, sometimes yeah. you have to do a little quick ollie to snap it in place. Yeah, uh, and, and then and then you're locked in. I was flying down, yeah. uh, flipping all the skiers, the bird, telling them how much better I was uh, at strapping in and on than everyone else um, on the mountain. You know, so there was cool advantages to it. There oh, it was a little pressure point, kind of yeah. right here. I felt I felt this a little more like um, right here in my foot um, yeah. at the end of like three or four runs. You know, so that's. That was definitely a thing, and that's and actually been a thing that I've gonna, heard from other people too. It's definitely not going to fit a um, wider foot, a wider like, foot, yeah, like the other, like the rulers would normally. But it's still pretty wide. I mean, I still have some room, and I didn't really feel this pressure that much. Um, my biggest, my biggest complaint was the fold. You know, you either had to fold down onto the roof of your foot, or you had to tighten it so much that you'd go numb for it not to. Yeah. And, and I had a little tension up in here too, in the heel yeah. cup. Uh, that's more break in though, right? It can be, but I mean, yeah. I've had a lot of. That's. It's also another thing about first aid, you know, testing boots. Because mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things that happen after about the first 10, 15 days of break in. Um, but then there's other boots that I try and I pop them in. Or... Yeah, but that first time you're like, "Am I in? Is yeah. this really it? Yeah, is this it?" And it just pops right out. You have to kind of step forward. So it's a little weird at first, but it's not that bad. Usually I'd pop my bindings like this and step back. This time I'm you pop and you have to kind of step forward, but then it's not that hard. The more I do it, the less I feel. And uh, I really like the whole binding thing. Peter's uh... I'm snowboarding, Ma! I'm snowboarding! <laughs> nice.